This video will go through the basic technique for ovarian dissection in preparation for ovarian tissue cryopreservation. Setting up the vials is the first step. It is recommended that you use a mechanical labeler because of the amount of information that needs to be on each label. Please refer to the labeling protocol in the online NPC manual. We also recommend that you label each vial with the patient's name by hand, just in case the labels were to come loose. If you are able to, set the vials up the day before with your cryoprotectant and keep the vials in the refrigerator until the day of the procedure. The following supplies are needed. A flat ice pack, a ruler, holding media as specified in the NPC protocol, and fine dissecting instruments such as sharp scissors, a scalpel, flattened forceps, and petri dishes. If you are aspirating follicles directly from the tissue, you will also need an 18-gauge needle with a 3cc syringe. The tissue will come from the operating room in the holding media as specified in the protocol. If you are doing ovarian tissue crowd preservation only, the ovaries need to be transported to the lab in cold media with an ice pack can be kept at 4 degrees overnight before dissecting, and be dissected in cold media on an ice surface. If you are doing ovarian tissue crowd preservation and in vitro maturation, ovaries must be transported to the lab in room temperature media within 30 minutes. Immediately, antral follicles need to be aspirated with an 18-gauge needle and scanned for immature oocytes. Ovaries are then transferred to cold media on an ice surface for dissection. Tip the ovary out into a 100 millimeter petri dish. Examine the ovaries to check if there are any antral follicles on the surface. Aspirate those follicles using a 3cc syringe with an 18 gauge needle. There should be some holding media already loaded into the syringe before aspiration. Gently aspirate the follicular fluid from each follicle and eject this media into a petri dish to look for immature oocytes. The immature oocytes can be cultured up to 48 hours. Any mature oocytes can be vitrified for patient use. Depending on your site, a portion of tissue may have already been removed for pathology. If still necessary, remove the specified portion now. After cutting off any ligaments from the tissue, bivalve the ovary or cut it in half on the longitudinal axis. and then cut the tissue into quarters on the longitudinal axis again. Gently cut away the inside medulla. The easiest way to do this is to use a very sharp iris scissor. Curved scissors are sometimes preferred, but you'll get the feel of this as you do it yourself. After rinsing the ovarian pieces, move the pieces to a clean dish. If possible, pass the rinse media to another embryologist to look for immature COCs. Begin to refine the ovarian cortex tissues by thinning it from the inside out. Some people will find this goes easier with scissors and some will prefer a scalpel. Nevertheless, all of this waste tissue can be pushed aside and keep moving your tissue to a clean media in a new dish.
From personal experience, a curved scissor usually is enough to trim ovaries from patients who are teenagers or younger down to one millimeter, while a number 10 scalpel is used mostly to thin the cortex for patients who are older. All human ovaries are unique. The age of the patient can vastly influence the time it takes for dissection and the tools that are used. Rinse the tissue carefully with holding media and move the tissue to a clean dish. Ultimately, the thickness of the cortical tissue should be about one millimeter. Cut the flattened and thinned out cortical tissue into strips. This can be done in two ways either with straight scissors or a scalpel. Make an effort to cut the edges smoothly and avoid moving the scalpel back and forth. The strip should be about two centimeters long by half a centimeter wide. If there are pieces that are smaller, put them aside as they are good pieces to allocate to the 20% research portion of the study if the patient is participating. Count the number of cortical strips and then divide the strips between patient use and research. Follow the Form 4 for additional research handling instruction. For the patient tissue, transfer the tissue into cold cryomedia and gently shake for a few minutes. Load the tissue into the vials preloaded with 0.8 milliliters of cryomedia approximately one to two pieces per vial following the protocol that's described in the NPC manual. Then add more cryomedia so that the final volume is up to 1.5 milliliters. Leave the vials in four degrees for half an hour and load the vials into the freezing machine. The seeding technique is done manually, and the easiest way to do this is to use a large cotton swab that has been immersed in liquid nitrogen. You can clearly see the seed this way, and it can be done rapidly. Please note that freezing protocols may change. Always refer to the latest information from the Oncofertility Consortium at Northwestern University to ensure that you have the most up-to-date freezing technique. You can always call or email us if you have questions. For more information, please contact the Oncofertility Consortium at Northwestern University.